Greg. Oh. All right, so Greg, it is, let's see, it's Wednesday, and we have a yeah, problem, don't we? Wednesday, I'm losing track of what day it is. I know, <laughs> and, it, and we've been actually waiting. The weather wasn't playing nice on basically from Sunday all the way through. Now we had thunderstorms, and then fog and low clouds. Yeah, and now we have smoke and haze. Yeah, now the Canadian forest fires have once again blown smoke down into your home. So, <laughs> so one thing we can't do is fly because there's a certain amount of visibility you have to have before you can legally fly. Right, we were going to fly the Army 12, so yep. that was the idea, was the, the full scale, as you guys call yes. it, RV-12, um, the people RV-12. Yeah, the people, the two person. Yeah, so you're building it, so we wanted to go fly around a little bit, so yep. you get some experience in that, but uh, the visibility and the smoke is, uh, we can't go flying and I can't leave. Yeah, so, well there we go. So he's a captive so audience. Stuck. Yep. We can't fly the <laughs> full scale one, but we can fly the model. That's right. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Uh, you haven't actually got the fly model airplane too much. Uh, I have flown like the little super slow park flyers. Yeah. Like the teeny tiny little lightweight ones. My brain works where I'm sitting in the airplane and right is right and left is left. and it doesn't turn around. And it doesn't turn yeah. around and come at me. So well, it should be hilarious actually. Lord willing, if the weather fixes itself by the end of the day here, we're gonna fly now with Greg uh, with the model, and then hopefully by the end of the day, you're gonna see us flying in the RV-12 IS, uh, getting our first experience, which all of us in this team are really excited about. And if not today, we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> so we're all set here. Uh, we did put an 1800 milliamp battery in it. It gives a little bit heavier of a wing loading. This thing still floats. You can go all the way up to a 2200, right? Yeah, all the way up to 2200. Um, yeah, 1300 is definitely the best on those golden hour evenings. It's just nice soars and call 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 carves through the air real nice and everything. Kind of floaty. So now. We let, should we let Greg take it off for the first time? <laughs> if I, when I, I won't say if I break this, when I break this, don't kill me. <laughs> you will not break it. I promise you that. Um, and here's a cool thing with buddy boxes here. And this is a great way to teach people how to fly, whether it's an adult or a little child. Uh, buddy boxes are great because it gives the ability for the person to really push it to the limit before you get rescued. While I'm flying with Greg, I'll talk a little bit also on how I do what I call the opposite game to make sure that you're always putting the controls and you don't want to just take over control, respond and correct. You actually want to be holding in the correct input. And uh, later on, we'll be doing a beginner series on how to teach people how to fly. Um, but today, I'm a beginner. <laughs> you're you're going to do great. <laughs> So right now we have the Orient, it's in level assist mode. I'm gonna let you take this thing off. All right. Just like the real thing, you can't see your own airplane, huh? <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready, my friend. Beautiful, just hold that back pressure, keep it full throttle. Give me a gentle right turn. There you go. And whenever you're ready, you just go just above half throttle, about 60%. How's that feel? That's cool. And you're flying? Yeah. So this is a feature where if you like Warbird, you like any of basically one of our models, but you're a fairly new pilot, this is a great insurance policy for you because it always levels it out. You can turn it on and off at your will. And if you get in trouble, you flip it back on, it'll self-rescue. In a second, we're gonna let Greg fly around a couple circles, get used to it. Then we're gonna do some loops and rolls with him. So as we mentioned earlier here, you know, the haze and the visibility was just too poor, but we weren't kind of passing this opportunity for him to fly the model that basically the Amjack Craft made possible and Dave Jester designed. And uh, our goal was to give you guys a project that you could build and fly as we build the full-size one and have the same flight experience and hopefully aspire to do your own someday. This is a really nice, Dave. Thank you. Good job, Dave. Dude, you're just kicking it around like nothing. <laughs> Poor Dave. <laughs> I'm just try trying to give Mike a little challenge here. <laughs> like it, make it work for it. You just feel oh, yeah, it you can, Yeah, you can actually yaw it around the front. Yeah. Great. Boom. I got you. You got it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that so, was close. <laughs> so something, something we do whenever we're buddy boxing, don't react and then pick up control and try to solve it. Actually move the controls in the opposite direction. If he goes up, I push down. If he goes right, I go left because that's going to be the right direction. And Greg, I'm gonna turn it back to you here. Let me just show you, by the way, let me show you the stall here before I give it to you. Here's full up. Look at that. And that's with no gyros, by the way. So that's pretty realistic, actually. Is it seriously? Yeah, that's pretty close. 
Can you do so this in the it? when you're flying the airplane, you're sitting in it, it'll come up, it's very gentle, and you'll feel it buff it. And as soon as you let the nose drop a little bit, it just starts flying. It just again. picks up again. It doesn't yeah. drop a tip or bite and you. It, and it does what that was just doing. It kind of comes up and it kind of does this and you get a little bit of sink. And then as soon as you drop the nose, it starts flying again. I'm just gonna nice do a touch and go while you're talking. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Well, one thing that we couldn't do was the full flying stabilizer just because that doesn't scale down too well, does it? No, not, I would imagine not on the little one. Yeah. Nice landing. Thank you. And well, hopefully we can do that later on as well too. That was not me. <laughs> <laughs> well that's awesome well, that's cool we're waiting for the weather to clear but friends if you like this model you want to build a model version of what we're going to be building in real life and eventually flying with uh this is available now in the stores thanks to our good friends at van's aircraft and uh it's a great trainer too uh, that's fun yeah. No, yeah. easy, you did, easy to you build did, you did a good easy job. to fly you made the video yes it's like two hours <laughs> and 10 minutes of the actual build right right, right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I don't think this is going to be the last Vans aircraft we design and build. Yeah, there's, there's probably more coming. I, I see a 15 before too long, too, that I really want to... We won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to do an RBA. There gotcha. it is. I think, I think a, a good-sized yeah. RBA would be a lot of fun, for sure. Awesome. Matter probably fact, too much for me, but, you know, it would be fun. Leave in the comments below what your favorite Vans aircraft is and what size you'd like to see it, and whether it's a Mighty Mini, a Simple Series, B size, or something a little bit hotter. And uh, we'll see what we can do for you in the future. All right, uh, weather is supposed to clear out. What do you say we bring this in? We hopefully get ready. Maybe this evening will fly. Yeah, that'd be fun. Or in the morning. <laughs> yeah, one way or the other, we're gonna fly. Awesome. Look, there's some baby deers. <laughs> those will, those will ruin your day in an airplane. Yeah, I suppose so. We'll get them out of the way. <laughs> there you go. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, time to take off. Awesome. There we go. Caution, terrain. What do you think? I'm liking it. <laughs> Just trying to soak up as much as I can. <laughs> Very serious video. <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> Are you familiar at all with how airplanes fly? Not really. Alright, well the joke is funny, <laughs> but that's not really the answer. So they move in roll, which is this way. Pitch, which is this way, and yaw is like that. Okay. So roll, well, you want to put just two fingers and a thumb nice and light on there. So roll is roll a little bit there, and then when you put it in the middle, it just sort of stays at the same attitude. Attitude is the term we use for where is it relative to the horizon. Okay. And then if you push back this way a little bit, it goes back to level and stays there when you center it. If you push this way a little bit, push to the left, and then when you center it, it stays there. <laughs> you want to try it? No, I'm good. Okay, I'll push on your thumb, is that alright? Okay. Alright, here we go. So just like that, and <laughs> stop, and then come this way, and stop. Just like that. It's literally that easy. Wow. You can do it with two, with just like this. That's crazy. Okay. Go ahead and put your fingers on there. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like this, and that means push. When I put it back in the center, that just means put it centered in the airplane, right? Ready? Here we go. And center it. Oh, the center is right there. Okay. But when you do that, it's not like a car. With a car, you hold it in a place to keep yeah. the same about. Here you do it until you get to the, cut the slice of the pie, if you will. See the pie slice there? 
Yeah. And then let's go this way and neutral. Really good. That was great. All right. And then let's pull gently back a little bit. See the nose come up and neutral. Yeah. And now very, very gently push down a little bit. See the nose come down. Yep. And back to neutral. That was really good. That was great. <laughs> cool. What do you think? Um, it's kind of scary, but cool. But you're doing a great job. <laughs> I feel super comfortable, so... <laughs> What do you think? Wow, that was awesome. You did a great job. You, you legitimately, I'm not even kidding, you flew <laughs> the airplane really nicely, so great job. How was it? I flew an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> she did really great, actually. She's didn't take first time she touched the control. She had it nailed, so that was really cool. You're kind of, you're, you're a natural. <laughs> Awesome. Dang that, but now I need to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hey, everybody gets a turn. Dave has the camera now. <laughs> Dave's the Dave, you would make a pretty good cameraman. Just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little shaky though. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Stabilization's for. You ready for your first flight with Greg? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I waited until now to do it, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Go have some fun. Yep. And up to go. And it's been uh, been a good year since I've been up in any plane. That's cool. Well, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go a little further this time because I know you've you know, these before. Pull the nose up a little bit. Nose up, nose up. Pull more roll. Okay. Back roll right over. Nose okay. down. Yep, keep going. Nose down. See where the nose went? Yep, look out front. And don't look at this thing. <laughs> Just look out front. Dave, we gotta get building. Do <laughs> you like it? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is. Oh, he seems to understand how airplanes fly. I, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just That's a little good. bit. <laughs> is it in the jeans or is it in the airplane or both? Airplane. Yeah. Airplane. Yeah. 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 So basically, while they're flying, more RV components are coming in the form of kits here. So we'll be flying the RV 12 IS and then we'll be getting the kit all on the same day. Getting the, the wings and the fuselage. Wings and fuselage. Cool. Wow. That's so, awesome. And now I think everybody's pretty amped. Yeah. I mean, we were empty four, but... <laughs> so do we need to go and do that now? What do you think? What, we can, how, what time can, are they showing up? They we can within, probably get in one more flight. They say within the hour. All right. Everything is sort of spit up. So all the time that you had this a flight test, I never got to sit in it, and I was kind of bummed out about that, but now I'm really grateful, because the first time I sit to it, and do it, that's so my best friend. Yeah, we're flying. <laughs> that's sweet. And I'm next to you. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. I've been oh. looking forward to doing this for a while. Oh, same here. Same here. All right, absolutely beautiful. So if you like to take the controls, you can put your toes on the black part of the pedals, just the black part. So heels back a little bit. There we go. All right, you have the controls. I have the controls. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a left-hand turn, okay? Okay, turn left. Here we go. <laughs> it surely is. You said it was going to be a fingertip plane. It is a fingertip plane. Yeah, totally. If you've got a grip on it, you're going to overfly the airplane. Yeah. That's, that's what the, you always do. Go find your house, right? Go so. find your house, yeah. <laughs> my last flight with my father was from that airport right there, and that's the first thing we did. Is we went over, we, we flew over his house, we flew over my house. Yeah. And there's something special about, you know, I liked tandem back when I was younger. But when you got married and, and, and relational and you're flying with somebody, it's, hey, how you doing, or hey, how you doing? Right, right. I love the fact that you can laugh and you can tap hands and yeah, you just go, have, and just just go have fun and share, share the vibe together. For sure. It really is great. 
So I'm just going to cut a little bit to the left. I'll cross over the active right in the middle again if that's okay. Yep. I love this, brother. This is so exciting. Do you want me to fly around? You want to shoot, yeah. shoot a video of the of the? Yeah, that'd be great. It's you your aircraft. You can get a picture. I have the airplane. Get a picture of the bulldog. We might even. Who knows? We might even. First thing. See an ABF truck pulling up. I love it. <laughs> this is called uh, air surveillance, right? That's right. <laughs> what a thrill. Who never thought that little tiny golf course would become an air park someday? I know, isn't that weird? It is. <laughs> that has a sense of humor, that's for sure. It really does handle the bumps and the bounces so beautifully. Oh, there's the truck. Look at there that. There it is. It's delivered right now. It looks like they're delivered. <laughs> <laughs> delivered RB12 kits as we're flying an RB12 overhead. All right guys, so we were actually out flying with Greg from Vans Aircraft in an RB12 today, and I got a phone call from this truck right behind me that's leaving. And uh, yeah, we got the rest of our airplane kit. So we need to get this stuff put away and then we're gonna get back to it over there at the field, having some fun flying. We'll talk to you guys later. I love it. <laughs> a little bit of affirmation there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we'll, do it, we'll do it again real quick too. Yep. Oh my golly, that is humorous. Flip it. Nice. Don't put it away. Keep the one wing low, huh? Beautiful landing. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Not bad. So <laughs> as we were flying around, we went over to the circle over Edgewater and we looked down and great spots. A semi backing up the pilot institute <laughs> hangar. We were flying around. It's like it'd be pretty funny if we flew over and the ADA ABF truck was there dropping off airplane kits. And sure enough, there it was. It dropping was. off airplane. And here comes Dave driving across the golf oh. course to meet the ABF truck. It didn't look like he was excited at all. That's that's that's, that's, that's definitely given. So absolutely cool. incredible experience. What an intuitive, just gentle, wonderful airplane. It's all your entire family and everybody is just pretty much natural at flying it. So that's it's not a surprise, I think, but that's Big. really cool. Here's how you fly. Fingertips. Two fingers and a thumb. Two fingers and a thumb. That's right. <laughs> and it was if a you joy. can see, if you can see white in your knuckles, then you're holding it too hard. Oh so my goodness! It works, so. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Well, uh, friend, I think you've inspired us all. You've primed us all. You've equipped us all. Uh, we got work to do. Uh, but also, if you're watching this and you guys are going to Oshkosh Air Adventure, make sure you look us up. Both Vans Aircraft and Flight Test. We're both going to be there. I'm sure we're going to be collaborating. Oh yeah, It'll be fun. We're awesome. gonna we're gonna have a good time. Wonderful. It's going to be awesome. Come, come to Oshkosh. Very cool. Don't forget to smash down the subscribe bell because we are on our journey now. The, uh, the model aircraft version of the RV-12 IS is out, available for you to build, but also we get to start on the biggest airplane we've ever built in our life and then use it to hopefully inspire the future generations and to get our pilot's license. So make sure you hit the subscribe bell. Thanks, Greg. And the model flies great. The model flies Dave, really good. Dave kicked that one out. <laughs> I mean, knocked that one out of the park. That's a really nice one. Definitely. So, super cool. Should we, you want to cover the camera? I can't reach it. I got my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach it. I'm thinking, I'm, uh, I was like, are you, here, are you here, coming here. toward me? <laughs> do you want to do that again? <laughs> I think that should be an outtake. That, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Perfect.